While our suit might be more ornate than first glance would suggest, the suit Charles's brother, James II, wore for his wedding to Mary of Modena is definitely fit for a king. No longer on display to the public, it's held in storage at the V&A. But curator Susan North has allowed me to come along and have a look. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, the gold and silver embroidery here, I can just imagine it kind of glinting in the candlelight. It would have been an absolute spectacle. Yes, and you can see in areas like the inside of the cuff and under the arm where it's a bit more protected, that gives a sense of just how spectacular the suit would have looked when it was worn. I'm absolutely in love with this colour of the lining. It's very similar to the colour of the lining in the portrait that we're looking at. You can see almost a familial relationship, I think, between this and the clothes that Charles is wearing in the portrait. I love the amount of buttons that we've got going up here. It's very similar to what we're recreating and with these buttonholes as well. It's remarkable that they all survive. Um, very often on older garments, you know, they, they recycle the buttons into something else and they cut them off. It seems to me to embody some of the contradictions that we see in some of Charles's wardrobe but around this time as well. You've got the wool, but you've also got the extravagance of the embroidery. You've got this sort of much simpler, more workaday silhouette in a way. But then again, you've also got this really showy extravagance as well. The coat itself, of course, was never a fashionable garment. It was strictly utilitarian. What Charles does with the suit is he decrees that this is court dress. Now, you'd never show up in court wearing your ordinary riding coat. I mean, you just wouldn't do that. So if you're going to take what is a utilitarian garment and make it court dress, well, you have to bling it up a bit. <laughs>